let's say I do gaslight my audience. Who freaking cares? This channel is not a weight loss channel. You don't send a huge pie and bread to a weight loss channel. You don't do it. Again, not a weight loss channel. If anything, I should be like, the walking example of what not to be and to lose your weight. I feel like in my past life, I was a doctor or a nurse. No one cares! I lost control of my bowels and I pooped my pants. <laughs> Potatoes, man. So if you guys remember January 1st, I weighed in at 515.8. February 1st, I weighed in at 508.8, which means in January, I lost seven pounds, which at the time I was like, I don't know if that's good enough, but looking back, I'm very proud of that. So today, actually, before we get to it, I do have one question. People thinking that I have weighed over 600 pounds at one point, especially like 2019, because your girl looked, <clears throat> she looked like she weighed over 600 pounds. Let's be real. Not only did I look it, but my lifestyle was very much that, very much 600 pound life-esque. If you're new here, Amber's highest recorded weight was 572.4 pounds, so essentially she was 600 pounds. I emphasize the word recorded because once Amber reached that weight, she gave up on weighing in for her videos and claimed she even stopped weighing in at all, even for herself. Therefore, if you ask Amber what her highest weight was, she will always say my highest ever recorded weight was 572.4 pounds. Obviously at the time it wasn't even something I was even able to admit to myself because my normal was that life at the time. So I was just like the Lulu in my brain, but it's just like looking back now, I'm just like, wow. So I get it, you guys. I 100% understand why people think that at one point I was over 600 pounds, but I can safely say like when it comes to me stepping on the scale, I physically have never seen anything higher than 572.4. Boop yep, it's always that same response. She's quote, never seen the scale say she was 600 pounds, but we're just arguing semantics at this point, because like she just said, her lifestyle was that of a 600 pound person. In 2019, Amber was constantly at urgent care or in emergency rooms due to complications with her health, such as multiple cases of cellulitis, infections, back pain, leg pain. She has also admitted that she was bed bound all of 2019 and couldn't bathe without the help of back, slept sitting straight up and even needed back's help in the bathroom. Come here, come here. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. that's such a lie. Oh my god, that is not a large portion of 2019, if not the whole 2019, where I literally couldn't shower. I bathed in bed. I'm sharing this because I'm proud of how far I've come. It wouldn't even be frequently. Like Becky would get a like container and she would put hot water and soap in it for me and. I would tell her to leave the room and uh, I would do what I could. So if I ever was 600 pounds or more, I never knew. I never saw that for myself. I think at this point, it doesn't even matter anymore. I think what matters is now. I feel like I'm making really good progress in my opinion. So whether I was 600 pounds at one point or not, it's very obvious how much I have changed since then. is your goal weight i used to answer with 199 out of the 500s out of the 400s out of the 300s out of the 200s and i was in the wonderland area but then i changed it to 170 i felt like that was more healthy than 199 it's really hard for me to do anything that involves me moving my leg my body is craving the sun because i do spend a lot of time indoors stop sitting in bed all day because i went through a very big funk where that is what i did but no longer yes i'm sitting down in a chair because my leg and my breathing it's all because I'm over 500 pounds. I think the evolution of Amberlynn's double chin is the most interesting thing about this channel. It's definitely getting a little big, you know, but it could be bigger. It definitely could be bigger and it's not. So I think we're okay. I, I think that's just sums, up, sums it up. Could be bigger, but it's not. So we're good. Wait, show me how to get out. Cause that's my only like issue. How am I gonna get out? How do you get out? Just... Yeah, I don't know if I can lift my leg like that. But I'm gonna be honest, I lost like all my motivation to get up and vlog, even just to put on makeup. <laughs> Going down. There is a way to lose weight eating fast food. 
Do you want to? Do I want to? No. No. It's ready. 572.4 pounds. 572.4. Oh. Ah! Well, there's my weigh-in. It's the heaviest I've ever weighed, which, like I said, it's freaking irony. I swear to God. Like, I've been trying so hard to move more and to make better choices. I'm really glad I have this weight because I don't ever want to be here again. I don't ever want to be here again. Why don't you just do a weigh-in to prove that you are losing weight? So every time I go on a weight loss journey or I try to go on a weight loss diet or like a lifestyle change, I am always vlogging it. So something I wanted to try doing different was just not weighing myself on camera until I got to a point where I was like, wow, I'm proud. Because sometimes I'd weigh in and be like, whoa, I'm down three pounds, yay. Like, that's stupid. For someone my size, that's not yay. That's not something to be proud of, TBH. You guys, I can promise you I am losing weight and I'm actually doing really good. And I'm so freaking proud of myself. Like, I know I say that so much. Like, in the past, I'd be down like seven pounds and be like, I'm so proud. I mean, seven pounds is a start, but I promise you... I just promise, okay? That's all That's all I'm gonna say. And despite her saying she's so much different now than she was back then, we can see she was still going to arcades, claiming she was living her best life, and shopping, even at her heaviest. She voiced all these things were a struggle for her back then and they seem to still be a struggle for her today. No drastic change has occurred since then, not much has really changed these days. So here is my weigh-in from March 1st. Hey guys, so it is March 1st. I want to weigh myself just to see how I did in February since I did the same thing in January. I'm fighting my way to literally the 400s. Let's do this. It's ready. 499.6. <gasps> Wait! I was not expecting that! 499.6. Oh my god. I freaking did it. I know there's so many people you guys are not going to care. But that's big for me. I just don't want to see that five anymore you guys that means i am in the freaking 400s and i know to a lot of people it's like wow you're celebrating that yeah actually i am and honestly good for you girl that was a goal of hers and hey she dipped below 500 but when the fluctuation inevitably happens like it does to all of us that's when the true test comes in for her i am celebrating that i'm not even gonna sit here and explain why because it's obvious so that means in February, I am down 9.2 pounds, which makes me so happy. So since January 1st, I am down 16.2 pounds in two months, which a lot of people say I could be losing weight faster, but I feel like the way that I am doing it now is sustainable. So it's like, if I just woke up one day and I just did everything perfectly, I have no room to grow. I have no room to improve. I only have room to fail, to cheat to not have success because I'm not gonna stay perfect. No one stays perfect. So with the way that I'm doing things now, I have room to grow, room to improve. As long as I do half of a percent better than the day before, I'm happy with that. I will always leave room for mistakes and slip ups because that's normal. That's part of being a human. And so far this year, I am succeeding and I feel happy about that. I feel happy with my progress and the changes that I have made so far. Oh, you guys know.